Alrighty, folks, welcome back to the Taylor Burke Show. The show so you're seeing will be 23 PS5 episode 262, I think. Dub in the last one against the Rangers. Gave up three in the first. We got bombarded, and then we settled in and absolutely cooked those guys. Big homers from Lane Thomas mainly, and then J-Rod added on um, to take the lead. And that's why we set at 29-28 after a six-game winning streak to end. May. Anyways, um, we come back today, and we will face the New York Yankees, because that's exactly who I want to face. We see this team all the time. I wish I could move things, but I can't. Um, we used to see the Yankees all the time in our time with Baltimore. Not really anything special in their rotation. Luis Garcia is pretty good, though. He's had some good years there in New York, but bullpen is awfully weak and then their lineup they don't have judge anymore and we've already seen the yankees this year horner cardona brett Beatty, ellie we know austin meadows willie brewster jason dominguez trey sweeney and ben rortvet ellie being the best player on this team he's gross dude he's so good in the field too gonna be a good shortstop for a long time anyways let's get into this we after our sixth straight are only three back here um, what do you say we win some more? A check-in call from an agent to a pitcher who's been What can I do? Just have skills. What if I click maybe? Oh, never mind. I'm good for now. Loss ends it, but then we get a win, so we're back to 500. Cut a break. A loss. Need a win here with chance, hopefully. There you go. All right, two and two, chance to go three and two. That's at least something. No, uh, what's his face behind the plate? Harry Ford. It's gonna be Renee Pinto, which is fine. Taylor will face Davy Garcia. What are we wearing? Oh heck yeah, we're wearing the throwbacks, man. Chance to get to eight and two, get two games above five hundred. Let's go do it. Baseball on the show. It's the Seattle Mariners taking on the New York Yankees. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Schaub. And Singy, the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Austin Meadows leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine right. in terms of production. He'll take his walks, he'll roll up three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the DH. Let's not get absolutely destroyed in the first again. That's not a good start. It's already a runner on. All right. Waste no time there. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was it. The unis look sick. So I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. The one This to third. That is not down. Why did you play it? Because that was a play for Cole Young. A pretty easy one at that. You can kind of watch this again. You'll see what I'm talking about. This ball is pretty weakly hit. It's in that hole. You know, you let this go. Ah, yeah, he's there. I mean, in his play at second, you've got two down. You've got an out at second. Probably beats it at first. Goodness gracious. Find it out here. Two and a half back in the division. Now he breaks his bat. Goes to second. Safe there. Well, gosh, things don't get much more unfortunate than this. Bases are loaded for Ellie Dela Cruz. In struggles in the first inning. Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Three ground ball hits for the Yankees. And there's a foul ball. That one is fouled off. Perhaps on the ground for a double play. 2 2 fastball. He stares at strike three. 
Huge out number one for Taylor. There's Brett Beatty. We have plus five control. Here's how the defense lines up. Beatty takes low. Fastball finds its spot. On the ground, played. It is a double play. Houdini act from Taylor there to keep this thing at zeros. Good pitch. Got him inside, jammed him. All he could do, even with the barrel, was stick that thing on the ground. Good play by Cole Young. Good turn by Stotty. Davey Garcia on the mound for the Yanks. Good career for Meadows. He's up to, uh, well, he's at 80 overall now. But 245 career homers, 1364. On the hits. Fastball, a change up, a slider, nope, a curve, that's outside. and occasionally Ball. uses a cutter. Time to check on our umpires. Still not sure how he got out of that first. Yeah, well liked umpire, but he's pretty consistent with his zone. So if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. It's 3-1. And it is one nothing. Austin Meadows deep center field. Never mind. Hits track down by Dylan Carlson out in the center. And we've got one down. Good play out there. Get away with one there. Oh, our cleats look sick. Stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Ooh, bad pulse. He went two down. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder Jason Dominguez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Popped into center. Carlson chases and gets there. Two scoreless here. Let's get the offense. We'll go in here. Third. Seven, eight, nine, do up. Or eight, nine, one. A triple. Wow, with no one on, and then we don't score him. Stepping in for the Yankees, Ben That's tough. Yeah, ball for a strike. One, one. Workbed will handle the catching duties in this one. Thirty-two years old, and he was a second-round pick back in 2016. Another missed spot, but that one he got under. Good bit. Carlson's there. Puts the squeeze on that. One down. And next is the designated. In real life, Juan Soto just got traded to the Yankees. That's insane. And honestly, I think the Padres kind of got the bad end of the deal. But you also have to recognize this is a guy who only has played, you know. X amount of games. And he had great seasons with, with Washington. The San Diego season's good, but his glove doesn't warrant him being the guy that people want him to be. I think he's great, don't get me wrong. And I think he's absolutely going to be insane in Yankee Stadium. Not to mention, didn't they just get Alex Verdugo? So that's that is a outfield of that smoke. Gabriel's there. End of the third. So out and left, you're probably gonna have probably Juan Soto or Verdugo. We do not get to run in again. And then in center, you're probably going to play Judge. And then in right, you're going to play Verdugo or Soto. They're on the corners. Or you have the option of DHing Soto, but I don't know. You'd like to get positional value out of a guy you're going to pay so much to. But 
It also places the Yankees in good faith to sign them in the off seasons. And they also got Trent Grisham. Okay, so now you have, maybe you do DH him, and you play Trent in center, Judge and right, Doogie in left. I don't know, man. But then there's the, well, what do we do with Stanton, you know? Chris, we talk about that jump for Nico Horner moving. So you're still playing him. He's still going to hit. He's not he awful. He hits the ball pretty hard when he hits it. <laughs> the you could see Grisham get moved. I think that's the more, the more likely scenario is that Grisham gets traded for a second time and it's not going to L.A. Nice or New York. I could see Grisham falling in LA though. In other news, uh, MLB wise, uh, Otani is set to make his call on where he's going, his decision by the end of the weekend. I think he's going to be a Dodger. Like, personally, I think he's going to be a Dodger. But. I'm holding out hope that there's an outside chance <laughs> that he's going to fall to the Braves because apparently he's still pretty interested. Braves have been making moves to open up space. We already made the Kelnick move, but we also got cash considerations. And we just moved Marco Gonzalez, which was the bad contract. So, you know. Honestly, a win of a trade for the Braves. I think the Mariners kind of got shafted there. Although Cole Phillips could be good. This is the short porch, and it's caught by Dom Smith, who's out in right today. Pretty weird spot for him, but makes a good play. Can't remember the last time we threw a ball. Uh, Kelnick to that Braves outfield is a that's a good signing or a good trade for the Braves. You got a guy with crazy potential, and I think the Braves think they can tap into some of that, um, give him some confidence, stick him in a spot in the order where he doesn't really have to be the guy. Um, you know, we'll see what happens. First hit for the Yanks since the first, and it's a two-out single for the fielding center fielder Jason Dominguez. Kelnick's going to play left for the Braves. So, well, again, Rortvet hits it to deep center, but it's played by Carlson into the fifth. J-Rod makes it one nothing. He's been good for us. He's been good for Taylor, I should say. Oh, he's been good. Never mind. He's figured it out. 826. Not hitting for as much power, but still playing good baseball. He's not even playing the field that much. <laughs> when he does, he's been good, though. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. There's been some starting pitching, slide around the league, big re-signing was Nola. And I was kind of in on the Braves going out and signing him, but after kind of seeing what... Oh shoot, we're 2Ks away from 2,000. He was in his prime. Right, let's keep an eye out for that. Kind of after seeing what uh, the Phillies paid him, I don't think the Braves. We were looking similar numbers for per year, maybe more, but we didn't want to sign him to an eight year, and you can hold that, Phillies. I know you're trying to compete now and all, but. Phillies have beat the Braves in two consecutive years in the playoffs, which Philly fans love to hold. The Phillies can't win it all, though. Straight up. They just don't... They don't have it. I mean, they, they just lose. 
sends it to first, and that is that. This year was kind of unacceptable as well. Back in New York, Braves seven. need to get it going in the playoffs again, but, you know, in my life. I'm glad I, I, I saw their 2021 World Series. I'm a Georgia Bulldogs football fan because I go to UGA. That's pretty nice being that, even though we just recently lost to Alabama. Ended our season. Sad. Um, but, man, I was frustrated on that day. But how can you complain about a 29-game win streak and back-to-back -back titles? And it's just... For the second just time today. insane the numbers from Jordan football. I'm an Atlanta Falcons fan and a Hawks fan, so there's there's fair pain. They suck. Man, the Falcons are hard to watch. Comes up empty on the swing, two now. The Hawks are so mediocre it's painful. Swing and a miss. Two down. And Taylor has settled in and is cooking. These Yankees right now. How many Sotos? How many Sotos is home run yet? <laughs> how many home runs is Soto gonna hit for the Yankees? I'm going like 49. I, the short porch dude. This dude's going to absolutely rake. It's kind of tougher to get him out out in San Diego, so. Short porch. What else is there? Just in the AL East, you've got the short porch over there. The pesky pull, which is interesting because it's actually not that easy to hit home runs there. If you can pull it hard down the line, then yes. Thank you, Bob. Uh, the Bryce and Stott for making it 3 0. But if you get it on the line, so he's got the short porch, the pesky pull up onto the concourse in Baltimore. That's that's not that far. Um, I can play this. Let me have this. Uh, and then Tampa Bay is pretty basic. Who's the fifth team in the AL East? The Blue Jays is very basic as well. I'm going to go 49. Come back to me when my prediction is correct. Think of that lineup, dude. Holy cow. That's insane, actually. You're looking like Verdugo. Just from the new additions. And your top five, Verdugo. Judge Soto. Oh my gosh. Next pitch oh my gosh. Glaber is going to be there. Rizzo. Goes down Just a gross team. The Yankees got it. I'm telling you. They're going to get it going. And first off they traded Higgy, though. He was a great fielding catcher. And a pitch. Check swing went around. Oh, and two. Right side. Nice grab. Gathers and throws. Good nice play, Evan down. White. End of the eighth. Good job covering, Taylor. So the Yanks go in. Welcome back. And so we search for a complete game shutout Oscar to make it Rivera. three and two on the episode the right for the court. Mariners. Popped him up field. first pitch, and we've got a chance at a Maddox, folks. Need two outs and 11 pitches or less. Late with the swing there. The next pitch misses, and the count one and two. One, two. Ooh, bad pulse. Bad pitch. Right at Irving Lopez. Hell yeah, dude. So it's their last chance in this one. Next to hit, Nico Horner. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two 
turned on, but foul wide of third. Oh my gosh, bad pulse. Fouled off. Next offering is foul back. One, two to Horner. He looks at strike three. No, he went around. Mariners win it three nothing as Taylor throws a Maddox for the first time in a while. Coming off a really shaky start too. Taylor improves to eight and two. Davy Garcia to six and four. Mariners take the lead in the series two to one. Nine innings, four hits, and I missed it, but Taylor Brooks has just hit 2,000 career Ks. Everybody, give him a round of applause. Thank you. It's no small feat. 2003 now after that phenomenal performance. He continues to help this Mariners team win games. Um, and we are looking good. We'll continue our career tomorrow, <laughs> I guess. Um, as we are close to getting our e career ERA below two now. Wow. Uh, yeah, Taylor's just disgusting. Negative 0.14 component ERA. Um... Chance is looking better now. He had kind of a rough section there for a sec. Gunner's still hurt, but J-Rod is on fire. Bryson Stott on fire. Harry Ford sucks. Carlson kind of sucks. Eh. Gabriel Gonzalez needs to get it going as well, but we're fine. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. That's Taylor Brooks. Episode uh, 6... No, not six. Two sixty two in the books. Yeah.